Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, we'll make base of this bench yoke vise in the 3D modeling environment. So, let's get started. So, here in this case, I'll start with the 3D modeling environment. As you can see, I'm in this 3D modeling workspace. And the first thing that I'm going to start with is line tool. So, on the draw panel, I'll select line. Now click anywhere in the drawing area and just make the first line of length 20 unit. Now unit is not a big deal here. So you can select any unit for this drawing. It doesn't matter if you're using millimeter or inches. So any unit is just fine for this example. All right. So after that, I'll make another line that starts from the midpoint and this length is 18 unit. There we are. Now with this T shape, I'll now go to circle and right here, I'll make the circle of radius 3.6. All right. And I'll make another circle of radius 1.5 again at the same point. Now I'll copy this a smaller circle. So I'll go to copy tool, select the smaller one, press enter, and I'll copy it on all the three endpoints of these lines. And here I'll make another copy of this circle as well. So I'll select it, copy. And this larger one will be copied right here. I'm not going to make this copy on this endpoint. Rather, I'll make another circle of radius 8 here. So I'll go to circle on the same point right here. I'll make it of radius 8. All right. Now let's go to the circle flyout and select tangent tangent radius. Now I'll select this circle right here and then this circle and the radius that I'll be using is 10. Now you need to make sure that you're clicking approximately on these two points. So I just clicked at this point right about here and then I clicked right about here. So with that, we get a circle like this. If however, you click close to this point and this, you'll get circle on this side. So you need to ensure that you're clicking on the proper points. I'll repeat this command again. So tangent tangent radius, I'll select this point, this point, and the radius, as you know, is 10 unit and press enter. Okay, so there we are, we're done. Now we need to make another line. So I'll go to line tool and I'll start once again from this midpoint. And this length is 20 units. So 20 and press enter. Now I'll move it up and I'll add a distance of 12 unit, enter. And I'll simply join it with this circle right about here. And we just need to make a mirror image of these two lines. So simply select it using crossing window and now type mirror for the mirror command, press enter. Now select this point and this point as the mirroring line and press enter and we have the mirror. So now we have several objects in this drawing which we can trim. So I'll start with, well, these objects, I'll delete it. These are the objects that we no longer need. And then I'll go to trim tool, press enter and now trim this and this part of the drawing. Also, we can trim this, this and this part of the drawing. And this is the outline that we need. Now, before we move any further, we need to just join it all together into one unit. And to do that, I'll use join command. So type J O I N for join, press enter, select everything in this drawing and press enter again. Now this outline is joined into one single polyline. Okay. So before we wrap this up and go to the second part of this drawing, let's add two tiny fillets here. And for that, I'll go to modify panel and select the fillet tool right here. And the radius should be two. So go to radius type two press enter and select this line and this press enter again to repeat it select this line and this and we have the fillet and we are done now we are ready to convert it into 3d and to do that i'll go to view cube right about here and i'll click on this isometric view now let's go to extrude select this outer boundary and press enter now we need to add a height of 4.2 units so i'll simply type 4.2 and press enter now we also need to create these three holes and creating these three holes is quite easy. All you've got to do is just press pull this or you can just create these three extrusions and subtract it. So maybe I'll just create three extrusions. So I'll go to extrude and I'll select this circle right here, the circle that's here, this one and this. And it looks like I'm kind of not able to select this one because of this face. So I'll change the visual style. So I'll right click here and go to visual style and I'll change it to hidden so that it's kind of clearly visible. Then I'll go to extrude and I'll select only this circle, only this one and this one. So all the three circles are selected, press enter and I'll move it all the way up. It doesn't matter how high it is. It should be just large enough to pass this surface. And now I'll go to this subtract tool, select the main object, 
enter select these three and press enter and we have the holes here okay so the base plate is done now i'll just go to line tool and here i'll start with this midpoint but i just need to ensure that the drawing is made on this surface and to do that i'll select this dynamic UCS option D UCS. So activate this and after activating if you go to any surface or a plane BricsCAD will just highlight it and it will make your drawing right on that plane and that's what we want. Now on this plane I just want to make a line that is at a distance of 8 unit from this line. So I'm just going to click on this midpoint and I'll move it here and the distance I'll type is 8. Alright now I'll move it all the way to this side and I'll simply make it long enough to just pass this one. So kind of like this. All right, that's done. Now let's go to the top view. And as you can see, this is completely straight. That's what we need. And now I'll select this line and I'll make it well long enough for this side as well. That's it. That's all we need. Now we can delete this line or maybe not. We'll do it later. But for now, I'll simply imprint it on this surface. Now to do that, I'll go to solid editing and I'll select imprint. Now select this solid and now select the line so in this case this is the line and that's all we need press enter twice and we have this so now we can delete this line we can also delete this line and we'll be left with this kind of partition on the surface and we can actually use this partition to extract it and just to make another extrusion so now to extrude this i'll use this push pull tool or you can directly use extrude as well but push pull will work so i'll just select this surface press enter and now the height that we need for this one is 8 units so type 8 and press enter and there we have it so that's the height now we need to cut it from this side so that should be our view so let's go to this one and change the view to this left view there we are and now here again we need to make something else well for that I'll go to polyline tool this time you can also use line if you want but I think polyline will make more sense here and I'll start with this plane. So I'll hover my cursor so that the plane highlights and now I'll go to midpoint. All right, let's now move it down and this distance is 4.8. All right, now in this side, I'll add a distance of 1.2 and here we just need to move it up. Now the angle here should be 135. So I'll simply press the tab key and the angle is 135. All right. Now press tab key again to lock that angle and you can just move it all the way up beyond that line if you want. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll just click here and there we are. We've got this one half of the drawing and that's all we need. We can make the mirror image for the remaining half. So before we make the mirror image, we may need to explode it because, well, this is all connected into one. So I'll simply select it, type X for explode and press enter. Now these are all exploded and I can simply select this line and delete it. So maybe I'll just make a window, a smaller one like this so that only the line is selected. And now I'll select both of these lines. All right, simply type mirror, enter, and now select this point as the first point of mirroring line and then this as the second point and press enter. And we have the mirror image. All right, now this is not yet complete because we just need to combine it again into one unit. So I'll just select it all and I'll type join and enter just to join it into one. All right, and once again, let's imprint it. So I'll simply go to this view and I'll select imprint from solid editing right here, imprint. Now select this solid and then select this polyline. Press enter and there we are. So we've got this imprinted on this drawing. So press enter a couple of times so that it exits the command and now we can just select this polyline and delete it but we'll be left with this imprint let's go to push pull tool select this area press enter and move it all the way through and that's going to create this groove now we just need to create holes here as well as on this side and the radius for these holes is 0.6 unit so i'll go to circle tool directly center radius Hover my cursor on this plane and now I'm going to track this midpoint. So simply track it, then go to this next one and keep tracking it and it will show the midpoint whenever it reaches there. And there we are, we've got the midpoint. Click and now type the radius which is 0 0.6 and there we are. Now repeat the process for this side. So go to circle, now hover your cursor here and track this midpoint. Then go to this one, track it and there we are. So click and this should be 0 0.6 and enter done all right so we have got both of these now here also we just need to create grooves and to do that i'll use extrude tool so i'll just select this 
and press enter and I'll extrude it down. Now the extrusion height should be 6 units. So simply type 6, press enter. Repeat the process. So extrude, select this, enter and this should be extruded to a distance of 6 units. And now we'll subtract it. So currently this may not look like anything and it may look like nothing is actually happening but it will show up when you change the visual style. So maybe I'll just change it to shaded and now maybe not shaded something with edges like shaded with edges that will make things clear and now if we subtract it the things are going to well look clear so select subtract tool from solid editing select the main body and enter and now select this one this cylinder right inside all right orbit your drawing and then select the second cylinder and now press enter and we have these two holes now let's make these two features here and I'll make the features right here on this face and later we can just move it wherever we like. Now to do that, I'll just go to the top view and then I'll go to this left view right about here because that's the view where I'm just going to make it. All right, let's go to left view again and zoom out and pan it. Okay, now let's go to rectangle tool for this. And here I'll hover my cursor right about here and I'm just going to use this point randomly that's certainly not the right point but still I'll use this point nonetheless and later I'll move it wherever it just makes actual sense. So this is 4.6 that's the length press tab key and the height should be 3 and press enter. So there we are we've got the rectangle. Now this rectangle I'll select well a circle and I'll make it right here at the top. So as you can see, it won't let us make anything right here because our plane is YZ or YZ and BricsCAD will only make a drawing on XY plane. So we just need to change the plane now. And to do that, simply go to UCS and make current view as your XY. So simply click on current view and now this will become XY plane. And now you can just make it anywhere you like. So simply go to circle, click on this midpoint and then right on this endpoint. And there we have it. Now we just need to trim it. So go to trim, press enter and trim this part and this part. Also we need to make another circle right inside this. So just go to the center and add a circle of radius 0 0.6 right about here. Select it all and type join, press enter, everything is joined into one single polyline. Okay, so basically we've got this thing right and now we need to extrude it. Alright, for extruding once again I'll change the view and it simply disappears so I'll just orbit this drawing slightly and I'll go to extrude tool select it enter move it towards that side and the extruded height is 1.6 and press enter there we have it and also I'll extrude this part this one the circle right inside this press enter move it all the way through and now we can just use the subtract tool select it enter select it enter done now it's time to move it exactly where it belongs so just select this entire part. I'll just press escape key maybe and now I'll select it like that and go to move tool. Okay, now orbit this drawing and select this midpoint right about here. And this midpoint should go on this midpoint first. All right, this is obviously not the right spot. First, we'll just move it on the midpoint and now we can move it again. So simply, I'll just move it, select it again. Now we just need to ensure that it aligns exactly at the center and for that we can actually use a reference line. So maybe I'll use line tool, I'll go to this top plane, use this midpoint and I'll just make a reference kind of like this. Now this reference can be used for just moving it exactly where it should be. Now go to move, well select this entire thing, press enter, go to this midpoint and move it exactly on this intersection point. And we can now delete this line, it's no longer required. And we are done. So we've got this part right here. Now we just need to make a 3D mirrored copy of this part. And to do that, I'll go to this 3D mirror tool on modify panel. Now select this part right here and press enter. Now we just need to select three points option and that will just let us select three points for our mirroring plane. So for the mirroring plane, I'll select this as the first point, this one, this midpoint as the second, and then finally this midpoint as the third. And we have the mirroring plane, press enter, there we are. So we've got this right about here. Finally, we just need to make this part about here. And to do that, I'll go to the top plane like that. And also I'll change the visual style because while well, with this style, it's not very clear. So I'll just right click, go to visual style. I'll change that to hidden. Now I'll go to the solid editing and select extract edges, select this geometry entirely, enter. 
Now we have 2D sketches extracted for this part. And that's what I need for this example. Now let's go to offset and use an offset distance of 0.6 unit and enter. Select this arc and move it inside. That's it. So now we just need to make a line on this plane. And to do that, I'll first make this plane as the active plane. So I'll go to coordinates and here we have this UCS face option. Select it. Now select this face and press enter. Now this face is the active face and anything you make will be made on this face. With that active, go to line tool and simply start making it here. So I'll go to the center and I'll, I'll just make it randomly like that. All right, so there it is. Now select this one and move it exactly at the center. There we are, we've got this line. Now we can trim everything else. So go to trim tool, press enter and trim this part and trim this part of the drawing, trim this part and this part. You can also trim, well, this part and this one and this one so that we only have this section of the drawing. And now we are just going to join it into one unit. So I'll just select this, this small arc, and then I'll select, well, this one too, only this line. So this line, this line, and this arc, they are selected. Now I'll type join, press enter, and they're joined into one unit. All right, once again, imprinting. So I'll go to this drop down, select imprint, and then I'll select the solid, and then I'll select this polyline and press enter a couple of times to exit this command. And it is now imprinted here. So with this imprinted, we can now extract this as well. So let's orbit this drawing and let's go to push pull. So I'll simply select this area right here, press enter and the height should be 3.6, enter. There we are, so we've got this. Now we only need to make the shape right here. And to do that, well, I'll just orbit this drawing like that. And we can just make that shape anywhere. So I think the best place to make that shape is this plane. And that's the plane where I'll be making this. So I'll simply go to UCS face and I'll just select this face, press enter. Now that's the active face on which our drawing will be made. So I'll just go to this one and maybe I'll just change that face to this. Okay, and that's where we are gonna be making the shape for cutting this part. Now. This one is quite a random selection and here you don't need to be very precise. So the first thing I'm going to deactivate here is dynamic UCS because we just want to make it on this plane and we don't want other planes to interfere with our drawing. So I'll deactivate that. Now I'll go to polyline and I'll start making the drawing. So here just make sure no other point is selected and for that I'll also deactivate object snap. Okay, that's done. Now I'll start here randomly at this point and the first thing that we need to do is just make it like that and then that should be the case and just move it all the way in like so. There we are. Now it may not look like much but well we'll take care of that in a moment. So let's go to this line tool and now activate object snap and use this midpoint here and just move it down all the way down like that. Okay so we've got that line. So now we have these two geometries right here, as you can see, and I'm just going to make, well, a mirror image of this. And to do that, first I'll go to trim tool and I'll trim this extra portion right here. That's not required. And it may not make any sense, as I mentioned, but that's okay. Select it, type mirror, press enter, and select this point and this point right about here and press enter again. Now we can remove this line too and we'll add some fillets. So let's go to fillet and radius and it should be two, enter. So the first fillet is right here. The second fillet will be added right about here and the third fillet will be added right about here. I'll also just move it down slightly, just like that, okay. So this is just a random shape that we are going to cut from this part. So once again, let's go to this face and now let's complete this drawing. So I'll go to this polyline and I'll simply finish it like that. So randomly, I'll just make it. Okay, now it's a closed geometry. We can of course extrude this. So let's do it. So select this and select this part of the drawing and now first join it. So join, enter. We have a single unit. Let's go to extrude, select this, enter, Move it all the way through. Done. And now we just need to subtract it. 
So go to solid subtract, select the solid, enter, select the solid and enter. And there we are. It is now subtracted from this. And now you can see what we actually did with this. So this thing we can delete. And finally, this is our base of bench yoke wise. Now you can add more details. For example, you can add holes for the screws right here. And you can also use the fasteners here. So you can just add as many details as you like. And you can also add fillets in this part. So far, we have added only one fillet and that too in the sketch environment. But just to reduce the stresses, we obviously need to add fillets on these parts. So you can add that. So maybe I'll just do that only for this example right here. So I'll go to solid. And right here we have fillet options. So select fillet. And in this case, I'll start with this edge. So that's the edge press enter now you can just type in the value of fillet so whatever fillet value you want so let's just type one for the fillet press enter and here it is added and in a similar way you can add fillet on different parts and that completes the base of this bench yoke wise